Today we are going to have a very exciting experience as we go through the crowded and chaotic streets of ancient Rome. In this video, we are going to delve deep into the harsh reality of street violence, political riots, and the unpredictable crowds that have the potential to completely turn the city upside down. Get ready for an exciting journey through the turbulence and upheaval of Roman history. Let's travel back in time, shall we? We need to first have a handle on the sheer magnitude and intricacy of this huge metropolis before we can have any hope of comprehending the world of mobs and street violence that existed in ancient Rome. Rome was a lively, teeming metropolis with a population that, at its zenith, might balloon to more than a million residents. At its peak, the city's population was estimated to have reached one. Imagine the noise and confusion caused by the multitude of voices, the commotion on the streets, and the tense atmosphere that pervaded the area. It was a city of contrasts where sumptuous palaces stood in the shadow of wretched slums and where the masses struggled to make a livelihood while the privileged enjoyed in grandeur. The city was known as the City of Palaces and Slums, also known as the City of Palaces and Slums. In a setting that was both so diverse and so highly inhabited, it was inevitable that conflicts would emerge. Now, what was it that stoked the fires of gang warfare in the streets of ancient Rome? There were a number of contributing factors, including political discontent as well as societal instability. Let's look at a couple of the most important elements. Political strife and struggles for control were nothing new in Rome's history. The struggle for power between the various factions, often known as populars and optimates, frequently took place in public spaces. During the elections, as well as in response to tensions between various political personalities, there were riots and fights. The enormous disparity in wealth between the rich and the poor was a persistent source of conflict. The plebeians, who frequently had trouble making ends meet, were acutely aware of the abundance that was enjoyed by the aristocracy. They could easily organize themselves into angry mobs whenever they felt that they were being ignored or persecuted. Rome was a cultural and religious melting pot, bringing together people of many different backgrounds. It is possible that disagreements and conflicts between various religious and cultural groups would result in violent confrontations in public spaces. In ancient Rome, it was not unusual for there to be economic downturns as well as food shortages. When people in a population were put in difficult situations, their resentment frequently boiled over into demonstrations and riots. In each of these instances, the streets of Rome became the venue for the airing of grievances and the seeking of societal transformation. In ancient Rome, the mob, also known as the turba, was a powerful force. The mob, which consisted of a heterogeneous collection of people from all walks of life, possessed the potential to sway public opinion, influence politics, and even decide the destinies of specific individuals. A large group of people might quickly assemble in the streets to protest a variety of problems, including political decisions as well as social injustices. The combination of their overwhelming numbers and their shared rage made them a dangerous adversary. When tensions reached a boiling point, the demonstrations had the potential to develop into full-blown riots. It was common knowledge that mobs would engage in violent activities, as well as looting and property destruction. The support or opposition of the mob by political leaders could have a tremendous impact on the decisions that they make. People who were skilled orators and demagogues frequently used the crowd to achieve their own agendas by manipulating them. In certain situations, the mob may have the ability to demand or otherwise affect the outcome of court proceedings. There were occasions when high-profile trials were held in front of the people, which gave the mob the opportunity to participate as a de facto jury. The power of the mob was a double-edged sword. It could either bring about beneficial change or wreak devastation on the city, depending on how it was used. Now that we have covered everything, let's take a look at some of the most prominent instances of mob action and street violence that occurred in ancient Rome. The Catiline Conspiracy the Catiline Conspiracy was an attempt in 63 BCE to overthrow the Roman Republic that was led by Catiline. 
Cicero, a famous orator and statesman, gave a series of addresses to the Senate after the scheme was discovered, which galvanized public opinion against the conspirators and ultimately led to their arrest. The Nica Riots the Nica riots broke out in Constantinople, then known as Byzantium, in the year 532 CE, under the reign of Emperor Justinian. Disagreements on political issues first triggered the unrest, but it did not take long for the unrest to escalate into a full-scale uprising. Large tracts of the city were set ablaze, resulting in the deaths of thousands of people, riots caused by a lack of grain. Throughout Rome's history, grain shortages have sparked violent demonstrations. When the price of grain reached an all-time high in the year 59 BCE, there was a riot. Further escalation of hostilities was caused by Clodius Pulcher, a populist politician, who gave away free grain to the general population. These instances shed light on the precarious nature of life on the streets of Roman cities and the enormous influence that crowds might wield. In the face of such violence on the streets and activity among the mobs, the Roman authorities were forced to strike a fine balance between preserving order and soothing the crowds in order to keep their jobs. They used a variety of tactics in order to put an end to the turmoil. In order to secure the support of the mob or to forestall the outbreak of additional turmoil, political leaders would occasionally provide concessions to the crowd. These agreements frequently included assurances of further reform or adjustments to the program. In extreme circumstances, a state of martial law was enacted and members of the armed forces were dispatched to restore order. However, the use of force may result in other violent encounters and the spilling of blood. Those who are found to be responsible for inciting violence could be exiled or punished for their actions. It was believed that doing so would remove potential troublemakers from the city and prevent more turmoil from occurring. Food shortages were a common cause of unrest in ancient times. As a result, emperors frequently distributed free grain and staged elaborate public performances like as gladiator contests and chariot races to divert and delight the populace. The Roman authorities were well aware of the explosive character of the crowd, and in order to keep control, they utilized a variety of strategies, including both rewards and punishments. When we consider how chaotic the streets of ancient Rome were, we are brought face to face with the everlasting quality of human civilization. Street violence and mob action, fueled by political, social, and economic concerns, have been a part of human history for millennia. In recent years, however, these types of conflicts have been on the decline. The echoes of dissent and protest that can still be heard in the streets of ancient Rome serve as a reminder of both the power of collective action and the complexity of administration. The chaotic streets of Rome were a will of the people had the power to influence empires. And with that, a brief look into the grim realities of mobs and street violence in ancient Rome has been provided for your consideration. If you found this excursion through the past to be as fascinating as we did, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you further interesting investigations into the past. We are here to unearth the mysterious tales and tumultuous events that have played a role in the formation of our world. Keep discovering new things, never stop learning, and never stop being curious about the hidden parts of our common past until we meet again. We appreciate you taking the time to be here with us today. We'll see you in the future video.